for to me, like grace is a and going deeper with the Holy Spirit. And often we have a circumstance or a situation that puts us in that place where we're going, help, which helps us to go deeper. So it's going deeper with the divine. It's, it's change. It's a new awareness of the divinity within us. But I would first uh, like to begin with this piece uh, from Jonah Poetry, which will set the tone uh, and bring us into that space of uh, awareness for all of us to see what is possible for each and every one of us. So if we just want to take a breath and just become present in this moment. In this poem, there are very few words, but they are powerful and we can allow them to manifest in our consciousness and tap into them whenever the need may arise in our life with what we're experiencing. These are powerful expressions and essence pieces. His grace helps me see, picks up all the pieces that were shattered by me and shows my little soul what it means to be free. Things manifest in the physical and the emotional with our bodies so much quicker because the world is speeding up and time is speeding up. So we have to be so mindful. We have to catch ourselves quickly. And I didn't do this. I faltered. I faltered. And I fell from grace. I fell from grace without the realization of what was going on. Basically, I felt like I dove into a ditch, like head first dove into a ditch. It was kind of like there were two planes, okay? These two planes, one of them was heading for heaven. And this plane heading for heaven was there because I was ready. I was going through a shift. I was ready for the next step. I was ready to grow in service and grow spiritually myself. And Dana and Padre shared this with me at the West of Heaven. But this other plane is heading to hell. Now, of course, these are metaphorically. This is heaven on earth and hell on earth. So the hell on earth, the other plane, was my attachment and my, my grief. And I had to choose one plane to take. Which plane was I going to take? Was I going to continue on the downward spiral? Or was I going to choose to go up? Well, I chose heaven. I chose Holy Spirit and not the lower energies that were pulling me down. I had this condition and I cried out for healing. And as I cried out, the, my angels and my guides came to me. They gave me the guidance, several things in their messages. Meditate upon this passage. Avoid certain foods for now. Take a pause from the news. These were the messages that I initially received. Then I remembered, it came to me what Ron used to say, who are you waiting for to heal you? Healer, heal thyself. But I was brought to my knees and I called forth Holy Spirit. And I surrendered everything, every part of myself, every fabric of my being, even if it was to be my last breath, the last breath that I would take in this life, I was to give it to Holy Spirit. And as I did so, Holy Spirit merged with me as one. 
And the experience was so palpable and powerful. And I was guided to decree healing in the parts of my body that needed it. I felt a sense of conviction and supernatural strength that came over me. I felt as though a lightning bolt went from my head all the way through my body. My body was vibrating. The energy just penetrated my being. And as I was feeling all of this happening, I had entered the sanctuary of my soul. Enter the quietness of your soul. The temple of God is within your soul. Enter into this quietness and sit there in meditation with the light of intuition burning on the altar. There is no restlessness, no searching or striving there. Come into the silence of solitude. Enter the innermost sanctuary of the soul. Remember and realize the forgotten image of God within you. Each of us is a child of God. We are born of his spirit in all its purity and glory. And the prayer of faith shall heal the sick and our Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another that you may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man is powerful. So I am confessing my sins to you. I am confessing that I dropped in vibration, that I did not hold my space. And the other thing when we confess is we take the power from the issue and we put the power in the truth, in sharing the truth, in integrity of sharing with our brothers and sisters and not holding it, pretending that nothing ever happens to us. We must put it out there and it negates the negative power of the situation and the seeming problem. And I love this one line from Psalm 138.8 that Padre Paul has recited to us many times. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. And that is the greatest trust and faith I could ever ask for. My trust that the divine has my back. He walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. And this is about a personal relationship for each and every one of us. It is individual and it calls you and me to this place. Let us close our eyes and take a breath and pause. Pause in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let us allow divine grace to flow in with all we're experiencing at present. Let the stirring in our hearts instill courage so that we may all release the muck in our understanding, in our misunderstandings, 
that we are not here to suffer in fear and pain. We are here to release the attachments to everything and merge as one with our beloved. Are we in or are we out? It is a spiritual discipline. And the choice, of course, is always ours. We are at the helm.